yo 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 okay it's resistant man time a little bit windy today um so a lot of the times when you're using this it's either to help you when you're trying to do things like pull-ups muscle-ups etc or it can be used with exercises say for your legs your core or your upper body and this one we're going to be working the arms the rotary cuff and the chest there are two moves to this and they're really simple but it's having the trust in the resistance band. They come in different sizes, come in different thicknesses and different strengths. So I'm gonna go and try for the hardest one, of course. And I'm doing this so that you can see, hopefully, how the muscles work. Damn, sunny day and look at this wind. What's going on? Okay, first one, really easy. You're gonna take the resistance band, hold it at a width like that. You're going to turn your arms, so the forearms are facing upwards. And then with a rocking motion, which is unusual, you're then going to come forward and you're going to bring the arm in. So let me focus on this. Forearms always up. Stomach, no air. Beautiful feeling. And of course, trust in the resistance band. Now, here comes the best one. The second move is, remember when you run up to the bender, the beater, the multi-rig, and you get up onto that stall and you're ready to go. What do you have to, that's it, your mind, you need to think. Because when you're standing there and you're looking at the obstacle, that's that moment where you think, can I do it, can't I do it? No, okay? And I'll explain the reasons after this one move. So, what you're gonna do is take the resistance band, you're gonna rely on this, oh, so heavily. So arm is out, turn it inwards like that, so the forearm is up, and you're going to lean back, you're almost keeping this flat, so you're like in a glute position with your hand touching the ground, you turn it, and then, as you come up, turn this backwards to bring yourself up and rely on the res resistance band. And again, in, down, turn it, pull up, in, down, turn it, pull up. Now, these are epic moves because they power up and put definition into it, but also build strength. Each of these you should do 10 times three on each of the two moves, okay? This is the moment when, a little bit of a help here. You know when you're running up to an obstacle? Look, where am I going to go? Which one is empty? Let me take that one. And then when you hit that stall, go for it. Don't get on that stall and think. Think about it as you're coming towards it. Know where you're going to go. Understand what you're seeing and then attack the obstacle. And this, whew, boom will help you. Okay, have an awesome day.